Hamas accepted a ceasefire proposal causing celebrations across the Gaza Strip to erupt on Monday. However, Israel responded by outright rejecting any ceasefire and decided to terror bomb Rafah instead, while setting its police forces on Israeli protesters demanding they accept the ceasefire. Mediated by Egypt and Qatar, the comprehensive ceasefire proposal was accepted by Hamas in full. U.S. officials anonymously admitted it was almost identical to Secretary of State Antony Blinken's strong deal, which he publicly lauded and urged the Palestinians to accept. While the U.S. initially announced it was studying the proposal and would comment on it at a later date, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had already stated days before that no deal without the full removal of Hamas from power would be acceptable. This is just another way of saying that there is no ceasefire they'll ever accept. Additionally, Israel's war cabinet had also approved their planned invasion of Rafah before the Hamas announcement. Upon the announcement by Hamas that they had accepted the deal, Israel doubled down on their denouncement of any possible ceasefire agreement and signaled they were ready to invade Rafah. This triggered protests led by the Israeli families of prisoners held in Gaza to take to the streets in their tens of thousands, where they were violently cracked down upon by the police. Later that day, while the US was twiddling its thumbs after having warned that they couldn't support Israel's current Rafah invasion plan, Israel decided to invade anyway while indiscriminately bombarding over 100 areas in southern Gaza. Israeli tanks pushed forward three kilometers towards Rafah and seized the Rafah crossing with Egypt. Israeli soldiers from the infamously brutal Givati brigades posted videos on their social media showing them crushing the Palestinian side of the border crossing with their tanks and replacing Palestinian flags with Israeli ones. This was the primary aid delivery crossing into Gaza at a time when the World Food Program warns of impending famine. Israeli forces murdered and arrested around 20 workers at the Palestinian side of the border with Egypt and blocked all aid from entering Gaza during that period, also blocking aid trucks from entering through the Karim Abu Salem crossing. Despite Israel signaling it had abandoned a deal that the US was promoting, throwing away the opportunity to release all of their captives in an exchange deal with Hamas that they had agreed to, in addition to attacking Rafah and clashing with their own protesters, the American response the following day was to pretend as if the whole world and Hamas themselves were wrong and that they hadn't agreed to a ceasefire at all out of excuses and cornered by the fact that Israel is the reason this war continues and the Israeli prisoners aren't released, the Biden administration pretends like what our own eyes and ears tell us is simply an anti-Israel illusion. It pretends as if even the Israeli media is producing anti-Israel disinformation by reporting the fact that Hamas agreed to a ceasefire proposal.